An alien warship that came suddenly, easily destroyed the Arleigh Burke-class destroyer USS Sampson and its entire crew. Next to it, the captain of the Arleigh Burke-class destroyer USS John Paul Jones saw this situation and immediately ordered the cannon to fire with full force. But the bullets fired did not cause effective damage to the alien warship. The alien warship quickly marked John Paul Jones as a threatening target. Then it changed the direction of the barrel and fired a full box of bullets, although John Paul Jones fired back with his cannon, but there was still one bullet that escaped and hit the bridge. This shot killed the captain and the chief of staff. At that time, only Alex Hopper, the main character of this movie, had the highest rank, and he naturally became the captain. To avenge the death of his friends, the first order he issued was to fire with full force and destroy the alien warship. But his subordinates soon reported that their bullets were gone, and they needed three minutes to reload. Then their warship headed straight for the alien warship. The alien warship that felt threatened again had already issued four boxes of bullets that were ready to be fired. Seeing this situation, the captain of the Japanese destroyer JDS Mayoko, who cooperated with them, then ordered his ship to fire, protecting Alex, who was going to crash into the enemy ship. But the alien warship that was attacked immediately changed the target and fired the bullets towards Mayoko. Finally, Alex Hopper, who wanted to avenge, had to choose to give up crashing and turn the helm. He saved the crew who fell into the water first. At that time, the carrier fleet USS Ronald Reagan tried to approach and help the three destroyers that were attacked. But the alien carrier that was hiding in the sea soon released two white beams, which pierced the sky, and the sea area of a hundred miles was instantly covered by an electromagnetic shield and all communication signals of the fleet were instantly paralyzed. The Super Hornet fighter jets that were deployed lost control and crashed into pieces. The large fleet was blocked outside the electromagnetic field. There was no way out. Only USS John Paul Jones was left and completely isolated. And all this was the shield they made themselves. Seven years ago, American scientists tried to prove that humans were not alone and used satellites to send signals to outer space. Seven years after the signal was sent, five unidentified objects flew quickly towards Earth. The scientists were very excited. This would be the first contact of humans with aliens. When the alien warship entered Earth's orbit, a ship that was responsible for communication accidentally hit the Earth's satellite and then fell in the coastal city of China, causing great damage to the city. And four other ships landed in the Pacific Ocean. At that time, John Paul Jones had successfully rescued the surviving crew of Mayoko. They also accidentally found an alien corpse. Alex Hopper opened the alien's helmet, and a face that looked like a human appeared in front of him, and the alien was not dead yet, and almost killed Alex Hopper. Suddenly, the hull of the ship exploded, and some aliens wearing armor entered, and because the crew did not have weapons, the aliens did not attack, and took their friend away with the plane but they pretended to be fine. An alien secretly stayed on the ship, and he seemed very interested in the ship's engine and tried to read the data. This scene was seen by a crew member, and then he swung a hammer and attacked, but he was easily captured by the alien. Alex Hopper, who heard the sound came, and without surprise, he was easily beaten by the alien. And the alien's armor was also resistant to weapons. Alex Hopper immediately told Rakes to go to the command room to operate the weapons, while he himself drew the alien's attention to the outside. And then Rakes shot and killed the alien until it was destroyed. At that time, the alien warship moved again. Three aliens appeared with fire wheels that pierced the clouds and headed to the military base on land. Then the warship separated a small plane, which flew to the radar base nearby. The fire wheels that sped up would attack the threatening target first. A pilot thought he had escaped, but the fire wheel turned out to have a secret weapon in the form of a chain. The military base on the island was instantly destroyed. But it was not over. They then carried out the destruction of the high bridge and highway on land, with a frightening speed of destruction. And all the places they passed became rubble, and transportation to the island was completely paralyzed. Meanwhile, the small alien plane quickly took over the radar base on the island. It turned out that their communication plane fell accidentally, and now they could only use this super radar to make their own communication network and contact their home planet for help. Alex Hopper and his crew had no signal at all, and USS John Paul Jones became blind, 
Facing the tough alien warship, they were like living targets. Captain of the Japanese destroyer JDS Miyoko, Yugi Nagata, firmly thought of a good idea, which was to use the wave amplitude of the tsunami warning buoy to determine the position of the alien warship. Soon, the tsunami warning buoy successfully captured the position of the alien plane. Two Tomahawk cruise missiles were fired. Everyone in the command room held their breath, and the alien plane, without surprise, captured the details of the two Tomahawk missiles and immediately turned around towards John Paul Jones. Then the second wave of Tomahawk missiles continued to be fired, but the alien warship easily avoided it. Meanwhile, the second alien warship suddenly appeared, and the two alien warships each threw three bullets. Alex Hopper quickly ordered his ship to retreat at full speed. The bullets fell into the sea, and his ship escaped the danger. Then he firmly continued to fire two Tomahawk cruise missiles at the two alien warships that finally hit the alien warships. On the other hand, on an island, Samantha Shane, Alex's girlfriend, was doing recovery therapy for an American soldier who lost both his legs. They accidentally met a worker from the radar base who ran out. The worker told them that the aliens had taken over the radar base and called for reinforcements. Then the three of them decided to steal a radio device from the radar base and send a message to the ships at sea to save the world. And everything went smoothly. Samantha managed to contact the Arleigh Burke-class destroyer belonging to Alex, and the entire human civilization depended on them. Then, Alex decided to destroy the island. But the third alien warship appeared at and the other alien warships showed agile movements, making Alex and his crew unable to lock their positions. Alex suddenly remembered that a crew member had told him that the alien's helmet was a super sunglasses and they might be afraid of the sunlight. Alex, who had a plan, immediately ordered everyone to prepare for battle and made an action plan with Nagata. Their destroyers immediately headed to an island. They used the mountain on the island to cover the rising sun. Alex and Nagata then lay down on the front of the ship each holding a Barrett sniper rifle, and they shot the glass cockpit of the alien warship when the sun emerged from the mountain. The dazzling sunlight instantly blinded the alien's eyes. The alien warship was destroyed. But before the crew celebrated the victory, two firewheels headed straight for their destroyers. They had no chance to fight back. Alex Hopper immediately ordered everyone to prepare with weapons and run away. Two firewheels hit the hull of the ship and the ship instantly split in two, becoming a pile of iron that sank to the bottom of the sea. There were only two hours left before the radar sent a signal, and the aliens were preparing to send a signal to their home planet to ask for help. If they couldn't destroy the radar base, the consequences would be very terrible. Alex found a USS Missouri battleship from the World War II era, and he was interested in using it. When they got on the battleship that had retired since the 70s, they realized that they didn't know how to drive it at all. Right at that time, a group of old sailors who had served on the battleship were holding an event there. With their help, the long-forgotten battleship sailed again, heading to the vast sea. And the group of old sailors also rediscovered their spirit in the midst of the tense atmosphere. They were all excited and enthusiastic. Not long after, Alex found the alien carrier, and the alien carrier also found their battleship. Then. The alien weapon system immediately marked the battleship as a target. Then, under the control of the aliens, a ship full of bullets was ready to be fired. This situation made Alex and his crew silent. But then, Alex, who was smart, had another plan. He ordered to direct the cannon away from the alien carrier, even though it confused the people. But they still followed his orders. Then he also ordered the ship to sail at full speed, the aliens were confused by this action, but they still pressed the shoot button. Meanwhile, Alex quickly ordered the crew to throw their iron anchors. The ship stopped instantly. The ship's cannon instantly aimed at the alien carrier, and they managed to avoid the alien's shots, which they then used to fight back. However, the alien carrier still had combat power, and fired bullets that hit two cannon towers of the battleship. The cannon towers exploded and broke. Then. The remaining weapons on the battleship began to fire bullets at the alien carrier frantically. The scene was very tense, until some bullets hit the ammunition depot of the alien carrier, and the alien carrier exploded into pieces. Along with the sinking of the alien carrier, the electromagnetic shield also disappeared. However, the alien plane still had combat power. 
they tried hard to change the situation and once again released the remaining fire wheels. It was over. Alex Hopper could only desperately say goodbye to his friends and then fired the last remaining bullet at the radar base in the distance. However, the three fire wheels that headed for the battleship exploded in the air. It turned out that the electromagnetic shield was gone. This was the F-18 Super Hornet fighter jet, sent from the carrier to help. Since then, humans have defeated the powerful alien civilization. They then cheered for their victory, and humans returned to peace. And the movie ends. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Because by subscribing you have supported me to make better videos. See you in the next video.